Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Katie, and if you don't know me, I have an Instagram page that I have been documenting my curl journey over the last year and a half. So I have had um, several requests to do a YouTube channel, so here we are. And I'm really excited about this first video because it is going to be all about my new styling method. This is called the Top Down Styling Method, and it is perfect for overall definition. I know I've heard a lot of uh, questions about how to really get defined curls in the back of your hair and I think that this method will do it for you. So I will quickly run down a few items that you need and a couple that are recommended. So the first thing that I would suggest that you need would be some type of leave-in. I'm using the Mazzani 25 Miracle Milk. The next thing that I would recommend is some type of curl cream or curl lotion. This one's also from Mazzani. It's the True Textures Curl Enhancing Lotion. Um, but anything similar is fine. Don't worry if you don't have the exact same thing. The next product that I would recommend is some type of gel. This one is the Curly Magic from Uncle Funky's Daughter. And I think above anything else that I've tried, I would highly recommend this gel. If you are looking for your curls to be a little bit tighter or if you have curls that fall throughout the day, I really do think this gel would help you. I don't know how they made this, but I think it really, literally might be magic. It's amazing. You're also going to need some type of t-shirt or soft cloth. Uh, if you use a towel, I'd recommend one that's made for curly hair so you won't cause any frizz. You'll need some type of brush. This is a tangle teaser and it has very, very flexible bristles. I also use this to detangle in the shower. And the last thing is some type of clip. It can be a claw clip, it can be a little alligator clip like this. It doesn't really matter, anything will do. And the two things that um, you don't absolutely have to have but I used and I think help. The first one is some type of foam. This is the Inner Sense I Create Lift, and you can also use a mousse for this, either or. Last but not least, a diffuser. I know I also had several questions for a method where you didn't have to diffuse your hair. I've done this several times without diffusing, and it air dries, and I still get amazing results. So either way is fine. I do find that when I diffuse, I get a lot more volume, and I do it um, whenever I have time to, I'll diffuse each wash day. This diffuser is from Extava, and it is their Black Orchid diffuser, and I also brought their Pro Hair Dryer, um, just so that way I knew that the diffuser would fit. And if you can see, this diffuser, the bowl of it, is huge, and it's really deep, which I love. This is my favorite, favorite, favorite diffuser. Now you know what you need, so we can get into it. The next thing you will see is me in my bathroom and I will show you exactly how I get these results. All right, here we go. So the first thing that I'm going to do is use this Mazzani 25 Miracle Milk leave-in. I'm going to spray a few pumps in my hand and I will distribute it evenly through my hair. And it is best to have soaking wet hair for this method. Like anything else, do a little bit of experimenting. Sometimes things will work a little bit better if your hair is damp versus soaking wet, but Again, I find that this works best with soaking, soaking wet hair. So once the leave-in is applied, I'm going to begin by making a kind of U-shaped part at the crown of my hair. And then you'll need that handy clip. There it is. And what I usually do is I will twist this section of hair together just to keep it separate. Uh, we are working on the top section first. So I'm going to twist that hair back and secure it and I'll clip it up. I missed a little section by my ear, but that's okay. All right, so once that hair is out of the way, we're just working with the hair on top of our head. We'll take our brush and starting at the ends of the hair, we'll gently detangle. And I find that this step is really important. The more smooth that I can get my hair during this step, the less frizz I have when it dries. So take your time, be gentle. We're gonna comb all of our hair straight up it's a good look. And then we'll flip over. And this is where that either foam or a mousse comes into play. I'm going to put just a couple pumps in my hand. Not too much since we're working with a small section. I'm going to rub my hands together and then I'm going to put that product just at the root. So really concentrating at the root. I'm going to have a little towel handy and wipe that off. 
And next, I'm going to grab that curl lotion. And like I said, um, if you have a uh, curl cream that you love, that your hair loves, use that instead. But I'm going to take a really small amount and distribute that. You can take your brush and brush back through again just to make sure that the product's all the way through your hair. And you're going to scrunch. So what this is doing is it is encouraging the curl formation. And just depending on your curl pattern, sometimes the curl will start a little bit further um, down the hair shaft. Like my curl doesn't usually start right at the roots, but I find that this method really encourages it. Next, I'm going to take that Curly Magic Gel. And again, just a really small amount, a pump or so. And I'm going to squish that into my hair as well. And since I have quite a bit of water, um, obviously I don't have the sound on this part of the video, but if I did, you'd hear that uh, product in the water squishing in my hair. So we've done the very top section, and just like the name of the method, we're going to start working our way down. So the next thing I'll do, I'll put my finger and make kind of an L-shaped part. I'm going to do that on each side. And just like before, I'm going to twist this together to keep that hair separate. So again, we're going to make a little L-shaped part. Separate that hair, twist it together, just to keep it out of the way for now. And then we will grab our clip. And however you can, just depending on the length of your hair, get that hair in the back up and out of the way. All right. So just like we started the last time, we're going to begin by brushing this section straight up. And again, the key is to really get this as smooth as possible. I find the smoother this is, the less frizz I have. So we'll take that mousse or that foam little tiny bit and we'll focus that just at the roots. So I'll rub that in. Try to not get it stuck back in with the other part we already did. Next I'm taking a little bit more of that curl lotion or curl cream and I'm just trying to scrunch to really encourage those curls to form and it'll also encourage the curls to clump a little bit. And then on the other side same thing. I'll brush my hair straight up get it all smooth. Sorry, my hair is not all in frame. <laughs> it's getting so long, I need a haircut. So we'll just repeat those same steps. We will put a little bit of that foam right at the roots. And then we'll take a little bit of that curl lotion, scrunch it in, and then we'll follow it with that gel on top. I just finger curled a little curl that was kind of wonky, which you can do. Here I'm squishing that gel in and I'm just really, really scrunching to encourage the curl formation. All right, so we're still working our way down. We're going to unclip that section at the back and I'll make another part. So still kind of at the crown of the head, but we're coming down a little bit. Same as before, we'll put this together just to keep it separate from the hair that we've already put product in. I'm going to twist that out of the way. And clip it up and same as before we're going to brush straight up I, don't, I think I got the brush stuck on my hair there I don't know why I'm laughing um, yeah so gently brush straight up get that hair nice and smooth and I will say you guys so I practiced this method probably 10 ish or so times before I attempted to record it for you all Admittedly, it's a little bit awkward the first couple times you try it, but I promise it does get easier. And this, for me, like I have not done this a single time when I didn't get really, really nice results. So if the first time you do it, it's a little bit weird, just try it again. And that's the way too you can, you know, maybe find modifications, make it perfect for your hair. Um, but yeah, so just give it a couple tries. Uh, same as before, put in the mousse, put in the lotion, and now what I'm doing, I am flipping my hair from side to side and scrunching a little bit more. What this will do is it'll help our hair not all dry in some wonky position over your forehead. Alright, so we will just gently squish a little bit more. Again, we're just encouraging those clumps, and if I can ever get this clip out of my hair, I'm going to take that last section down. Um, so for all the sections prior to this, I put some of that 
um, mousse or foam at my roots. For this section, I'm not quite as concerned with volume. You can still put that product at the roots if you want, but instead what I'm going to do is just put a little bit of that curl lotion and scrunch it into my hair. And then I'll also put a little bit more of that gel and scrunch that in as well. All right, so here I'm putting the gel in. And if at any time your hair starts to get dry, feel free to add some more water. So now what I'm doing is I'm gently moving my hair from side to side. Uh, same as before, this is just making sure that your hair isn't going to dry in some super crazy direction. It'll help the back look better. And what I'll do in a second is something that I've seen Inge from Inge Curls do and Megan from Wavy Curly Chronicles. After I do my hair side to side, I'm also going to gently um, put my head upright and shake my curls so that they fall behind me right here. Um, and again, that's just another way to ensure that the curls in the back of your head are going to fall nicely. So this is what my hair looks like wet. And that's it for product application and the actual styling. I'm going to get a little bit of that excess product off my hands. And the last thing I'll do before I diffuse, and again, diffusing is optional, but I'll just take my really, really soft t-shirt. Otherwise, if you have a towel that's specially made for curly hair, you can take that, and this is called micro-plopping. What this is doing is it is removing any excess water or excess product from your hair, and it's going to help your curls dry a lot faster. So again, be very, very, very gentle. The key is to not disrupt those curl clumps. Uh, as you saw, anytime I move my hair from side to side, like here, I'm doing it really gently. I'm not pulling curls apart. Um, try to not get your hair stuck in your eyelashes. That's not fun. So that's it. Okay, you can air dry. I chose to diffuse. Just a quick warning. So this the diffuser is muted. You will hear it in the clip after this, but I wanted to point out a few things. First thing is I'll be pixie diffusing, meaning I turn off the dryer before moving to a new section and then turn it back on. understand this is about as exciting as watching paint dry but I thought it would be helpful for you guys to see and to hear how long I'm actually diffusing and what I'm doing here as my hair is getting more dry I am really focusing on diffusing the shorter layers in my hair and then you'll see me diffusing the longer layers at the bottom. So, um, key things to remember to notice, I try to not touch my hair very much when it is wet. The more dry my hair gets, the more I touch it. Um, just be really careful because the more you touch your hair, the more frizz that you can get, which not all frizz is bad frizz, but for the most part you want to keep it to a minimum. And that's it. So the very last thing I'm doing, I had just a little bit of a cast in my hair from the gel. So I'm using my hands to gently scrunch to break up that, that hard cast from the gel. Here I'm flipping my hair over and I'm just going to gently uh, move my fingers back and forth at the roots to give myself some volume. And I wanted to say one of my favorite things about this method is the ability to move my part wherever I want. So here I'm just having a really nice center part and here's the back. You can see that it's nice and defined. We don't have any areas of frizz, no wonky curls. And if you remember at the beginning when we made that first U-shaped part, that gave us a side part. So when you make that section, just put that wherever you want your hair to part and it'll help you out. And again, here's the back. Last but not least, we can flip our hair to the other side. And just remember, try to not fight your curls. That's what this is all about, right? Embracing your curls, you know, let them do what they want. So whenever possible, instead of parting the actual curl clump, part in between them. I promise it'll make life easier. And there you have it. Thank you so, so much for watching. Uh, come check me out on Instagram. 
And let me know if you try this. Leave me some feedback. And thanks again so much for watching. So please like this video and subscribe. And I will see you guys next week. Bye.